G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to track the traffic of a competitor's website using SEMrush's traffic analysis. Let's jump into it. Guys, we're not far away from being live with Rank Lightning, so make sure that you're on this sign-up list because if you're on this sign-up list, you are going to get access to a price that will never, ever, ever be beaten. You'll be grandfathered in to an unbeatable price and you will have access to the features going forward in the future. So we're not far away from launch. Make sure you're on that list and you are going to be able to do some cool, cool things with this tool. And we've got this entire year planned out with a roadmap to make sure that we build the absolute best local SEO tool out there so you can manage run do everything you need to do for your local seo campaigns with rank lightning jump over to rank lightning check it out today guys now you might be wondering why you want to track and identify a competitor's website traffic it's because the more advanced you get with seo the bigger your competitors are all right so as an example roofing seo now this is my humble brag one so here i am in position number three okay against the biggest SEOs in all of the entire world. Here I am in number three. Now, WebFX, they're my main competitor because we go against a lot of keywords, a lot of keywords, WebFX and I are in competition. It's a humble brag for me because I get to say, look, guys, I'm in these positions against, again, the biggest SEOs. This is, this is how I show I know what I'm doing, right? I go against the biggest SEOs. That's the way I do it. Now, the thing is for me, I need to start looking at this and going, okay, what else needs to be done? So if you're perhaps stuck with your SEO, so I did do an SEO stuck video and I'll be linking that because it's not just one thing, but I had a call this week with Dean and I chatted with Dean about, hey man, like this is what you got to do. Your competitor is getting a lot of traffic and a lot of users over from paid ads and from email. We need to do the same, but how do you figure that out? I'm going to show you how you do that today. So what you'll need to do is go into your competitor, open up your competitor site. Now WebFX guys, like this really only works if you do have a bit of it. Like if you go and look at a small plumbing site that's been around for a month or two, like it's not going to have anything. I'm using my competitor because I want to see like, look, 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 they've generated $6 billion for their clients, I reckon. Six billion. Little old Ronnie just you know, <laughs> I haven't done that guys. But what you want to do is you want to grab your competitor's domain. You want to throw that over into SEMrush so we can look at the SEMrush competitor traffic analysis. So once you've thrown that in, come down to the traffic analytics. Okay. So this feature has been around some time now. I'm not going to lie guys. My first opinion of the, this is it's hit and miss, but it does give us some insights. I personally, I've been saying this for almost two years now. You can go back and watch my videos. Google is going the direction of brands. It is not going in the direction of, oh, you know, links and like, it's not caring about that. The way it is looking at everything is three metrics now. User metrics, your content and your backlinks. If you have all three, ripper, that looks real. That's how you'll have success with SEO now. If you don't, if you're missing one of those, good luck. Good luck. So the this is why I like the SEMrush. This is why I like using the SEMrush tool because I start to get a picture of what's going on with my competitor. So let me walk you through it. So we can see here, they've got an estimated 1 million. The thing that I like looking at though is the ratio. So here you'll see that 70% come through desktop and 30% come through mobile. Now that's pretty much on point to where I am with my own side as well. Beautiful. So seeing that, I think that stuff's quite important. I think Google looks at that. Unique visitors. So of that 1.1 million, how many of them were unique? Beautiful. Page visits. This is a big one. I like this. I personally like this one because I think it is quite insightful. The page visits, 1.5. So people are looking at probably two pages when they land on their site. All right, cool bananas. One typically, very close to two. The visitor duration, so how long someone's spending on their website. Now, how accurate is this? I've tested this on three of my websites that have over 3,000 visitors every single month. That was miles off, miles off. So you've got to take this with a grain of salt. Um, 
my my websites, like I said, we tested three that have well over 3,000 uh, visitors every single month. It was it was not accurate to what we had with our tracking software. So the bounce rate, for me, it was about 25% off on average. So, but again, it's something to take note of. It's something good to look at. And this is where you can start to have a look. So you can have a look on the types of devices, how consistent that's been. That's awesome. You can scroll through. The biggest thing that I personally like though, is the traffic types. So where they're actually getting the traffic from. So if you're a roofing company, right, you're sitting there going, okay, well, how do I juice up something? Like I've done all my SEO. SEO is good to go. I've got the links. I've got the, like everything else I've done. What else do I need to do? I would strongly suggest throwing your competitor's website in here to analyze their traffic to see where they're getting it from. So we can see over here and just make sure I'm not blocking that image. Yep. You can see over here direct. So people coming directly to it, it's 30% of their traffic. The next is referral is 7.25. Organic, they're winning most of their traffic through organic research. Paid, they are paying for things. Organic social, so they're getting stuff through social. Now it's saying paid social, zero. Email, look at that. They're getting 1.3 from email as well. So email is something fantastic. Now you might look at this, but this is March. I, as all you guys know with SEO, go back uh, the preceding months. So go and have a look what was going on a couple of months. Let's go back to February and see what the, what they were getting. So organic was only 55, direct was 33. So there was a lot more direct referrals, about the same. Organic social, about the same. Email, paid search, mm, about the same. So you can see all of this. You can start to see where they're getting a lot of stuff from. And you can see how consistently that traffic metric is over a couple of months. Now the top sources, so you can come and have a look at the top sources. This just sort of breaks it down a little bit. But what I do like is as an example, look at this clutch. Look at that. Mail.google. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. They're getting stuff from Bing as well. So you can start to say, okay, well, they're ranking well on Bing then. So go and have a look at Bing, see what they're doing over at Bing. Go and have a look like at their emails, maybe sign up to their email list so you can then gather information on what they're doing to help generate so much engagement and see what they're doing on clutch. And this is exactly what you need to do when you're looking at a traffic analysis. You're sitting there going, okay, what's the missing piece of the pie? You've just got to go through and look at these basic things. Now, like I said, take it with a grain of salt too, though. It's to help you gain an insight, not the full picture. Because the thing is, it, to, to my personal interpretation of three websites, that was off. That was quite off, you know, that was a bit off too. So they're all things that you're going to need to think about. Now you know how to track the competitor's website traffic. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. Put a comment down below and tell me how important you think user metrics are in this day and age because I want to hear your valuable feedback. And if there's any videos that you want me to create to dive into depth with, you don't necessarily have to go in there and book a, book a paid session with me. Guys, just put it in the comments down below as well. I'll be more than happy to make something for you because if this stuff's insightful for you, let me make them. Go over and check out Ranked Lightning and I'll see you around, guys. Cheers.